Hi, my name's Ian Reid. I'm the Head of People Analytics at Kingfisher. My name's Ira. I work at Boolean LLP. We're a consultancy firm in the north of England. The first thing we were trying to do and, and use Altrix to help us with was just to count. To be able to count an accurate number that was repeatable, that was easy to do, and that people could gain confidence around that set of data. I'm sure many people have been in sort of C-suite or, or below level meetings where individuals actually argue around whose number is right, why it is different, rather than actually discussing the problem they're there to do. From that, and we have got to that stage now for using Altrix, that people recognise the information that we hold and the way that we've cleansed it, manipulated it and organised it, we are now moving into what I would call a sort of two sort of analytical predictive areas of the business. So traditionally in my mind what HR and, and probably other functions are, are, are similar, they're very good at reporting a number that has happened or that has happened consistently in the past and they struggle to use that historical data to inform anything about the future. But we've also gone through a process over the last two months of looking at how we can deploy auto insights within Kingfisher. So again, with some of the work we've been doing with Ira, we started building some auto insights missions where we link those directly to our Power BI dashboards. So C-suite get their month end dashboard, showing them all of their key KPIs. And off that, they have a direct link straight into Auto Insights that tells them why those KPIs have changed, what's influenced that number. And they're allowed to model the data themselves in real time to drive their own analytical insights. So one of the big uh, projects that we're also working on is forecasting. So this will be forecasting all sorts of HR metrics, be that levers in the future to understand in the future how how much admin will we need to deal with the number of levers, where are the levers going to be happening. They'll be also forecasting around demographic numbers, so how is the population within Kingfisher changing over time and what can we do to influence the direction that these things move. Within Kingfisher we've got a huge focus on our inclusion and diversity agenda and if we look at those sort of things plainly it's about having an increase of number or an increase of percentage of something be that an increase of percentage of females in certain positions or a more ethnically diverse workforce and it's an aspiration that, that everybody wants but we've been using some of the forecasting tools within Altrix to understand how we can actually get to that desired endpoint. So again with Altrix you can do all of your basic counting but we've flipped it and applied it to all of our recruitment data and can actually and are now actually targeting how we get more diverse talent selection lists what our hiring behaviours are across the different ethnic groups and how that's impacting our endpoints. At the moment we're pushing all of that through Altrix to do all of the modelling and then we use Power BI and as we mentioned in the coming months, Auto Insights to then start to visualise that output. 